Bitcoin NFTs, we have what is called ordinals and you need to know the alpha. In this video, I wanna cover the biggest blockchain, you know, the king of all cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, finally joined the NFT space. NFTs made people millionaires for those that were early. That was mainly on blockchains like Ethereum and Solana. For people on Solana, we consider whales on ETH to be way bigger because it's 100X the size of the blockchain. But do you know who ETH people consider to be actual whales? Bitcoin holders. Bitcoin market cap is more than three times bigger than Ethereum. And the price of the token is more than 10X that of ETH. So what exactly does it mean when the biggest ETH whales in NFTs start aping into Bitcoin NFTs? It means we really got to figure out what's going on here and make our own money. We got Dingalingus, who's one of the biggest holders of Board Ape Yacht Club, whaling into Bitcoin ordinals. Just check out his tweet right here. So the biggest question is, is there a ton of capital that's just locked up in Bitcoin from these whales and are they ready to deploy it into these NFTs? And if so, how can we get in early and make money off that? First, let's explain what Bitcoin NFTs or ordinals inscriptions even are. To do that, I'm gonna head to the white paper on galaxy.com. There's a new frontier in Bitcoin that's emerged. Since December 14th, there's been over 200,000 inscriptions minted on Bitcoin. But more importantly, the key takeaways, basically Bitcoin inscriptions will be a large market. They think by 2025, it could be over four and a half billion dollars. The next two points are that's a new use case for Bitcoin itself, and it's gonna expand the space of Bitcoin. One thing this is gonna do, it's gonna have more demand for this blockchain space, which is gonna put a higher floor on blockchain demand, and it's gonna benefit security on Bitcoin. The miners are gonna make more money, hopefully the NFT buyers are gonna make more money, and hopefully the Bitcoin whales will start deploying capital and have a new place to spend their money. The biggest thing to know is we are super early to Bitcoin NFTs, like the stone age of this. This is like getting into NFTs in 2017. So we gotta be super safe because there's not set up well-established marketplaces. There's not even the best wallets yet. Let's figure that out in this video. So what are ordinals and why are they not called NFTs? They're basically individual Satoshis or SATs, which are currently the smallest Bitcoin denomination. Each Bitcoin equals 100 million Satoshis. And the term ordinal, comes from the creator, Casey Rodarmer, and he calls it ordinal theory. Let's quickly check out a Twitter thread by a user called beast underscore ETH. Basically where he starts by saying, are Bitcoin entities the biggest opportunity since checks? Well, are they? Here's a quick guide on everything you need to know. Starts off by saying, we've seen some insane sales already. This ordinal loop just sold an auction for 7.1 Bitcoin. Again, what Casey, the founder figured out was the fact that he can turn fungible Satoshis through the ordinal protocol into non-fungible Satoshis. And then basically he inscribed content onto these, allowing for the first ever NFTs or inscriptions on the chain. One of the funniest things about Bitcoin NFTs or ordinals is the fact that it's so primitive, like so far in the stone age, is that people are trading hundreds of thousands of dollars only using OTC trades through spreadsheets. <laughs> you really have to trust somebody with like 150 grand on the line. I think one of the biggest opportunities is gonna be one of one artists choosing Bitcoin as the place that they display their art. But more about that opportunity and how to make money from it in just a second. Let's just figure out what these are first. The best way I think to do this when you're starting on a new frontier, something that's really hard to understand, is you gotta find the right experts to follow. Basically, the number one at the top though is Leonidas. Leonidas is my go-to for all things ordinals, and this is the first thread I read by him, which really got me interested. Basically made a thread saying, why did I just spend 3.2 Bitcoin on these ordinal punks. If you scroll down to the fifth tweet in the thread, basically saying, what can you do with these NFTs? Do you want your art on Bitcoin? Do you want a song on Bitcoin? Do you want an entire website? And somebody already inscribed an entire video game onto one of these. This thread's about a month old, and as you can see, there was only 38,000 subscriptions on the chain. Right now, it's closer to 300,000. The Bitcoin punks are 10K NFTs inscribed on Bitcoin under the first 100K inscriptions. I think more importantly, they were part of the first 34,000 inscriptions. And just hold on about one or two minutes because I wanna get into my favorite pro tips for making money with these. So again, just hold on a sec, I'm gonna get there. Everyone's getting into Bitcoin NFTs because it's such a big opportunity. Even our hometown hero, Frank from DGods. What DGods ended up doing was minting an entire collection on a single block, which is a big deal, all under 100K subscriptions. And they're really excited about how they can get these in the hands of their holders. I don't know exactly how they're gonna do it, but it's really cool to have them all in one block. Okay, so where do you buy on the secondary market? Like how do I buy an ordinal NFT. So I wanna go through a little bit of an older thread by Dada. Again, this is about a month old, so it's changed a little bit. This space is moving very fast, but at first, like I said, it was all through spreadsheets. You had to trust people only doing OTC deals. Question, how do I buy them? 
Answer, everything is trusted OTC right now. No marketplace, trustless trades yet, but we should have them soon because we're early. Do you need to buy a full node to buy an NFT? Do I need a full node to buy an ordinal? No, but if you're gonna create, transfer, or trade them, you will. Again, you can buy, but you can't sell or trade. The main wallet that's been suggested a lot is Sparrow, but be careful because you can't send any Bitcoin out of this wallet using Sparrow or anything other than the official client or you'll accidentally transfer your NFTs away. Again, the terminology is a little bit different because in ordinals, they don't call them NFTs. It's, they call them inscriptions because you're basically writing the NFT to a particular Satoshi. And that's gonna be very important. There's really only two places that I would trust right now doing these OTC trades. It's the original Discord, which will be in the description down below. And also shout out to ChartFu because he has a project, Bitcoin Bandits. They have a very good community in there. I would probably trust it there, but again, do your own research. So if you actually wanna explore JPEGs, buy ordinals, buy inscriptions, where can you do that? I would do that on ordinalhub.com, ordinals.com backslash inscriptions, ordinalsdirectory.com. Again, all these in the description down below. So I did mention the Sparrow wallet is the wallet needed, but I don't know about that one. There's two other options. So number one, we have the Ordinals wallet. And number two, we have Xverse. Cool thing about Ordinals wallet is they do have their own marketplace. You need to have an Ordinals wallet to use their marketplace. The cons is that it's not permissionless. They're not docs. They're not audited by third party and it's not open source. The other option, Xverse is audited. They are docs and it is open source code, but there's been some issues with them. It's gone down a lot. So nothing really great as the clear cut best option for a wallet. But there's one person I trust a lot in this space and it's JP and he gave me a tip. He's like, make sure to tell them after you buy Ordinals from Ordinals Wallet, send your assets to Xverse Wallet. Much safer to use Xverse versus Ordinals Wallet. So that's coming from a pro. Speaking of tips coming from a pro, let's get into some pro tips on how to make money. Pro tip number one is sat hunting. Again, we did explain that Satoshis or sats are individual pieces on a specific node. Some sats are actually a lot rarer than others, so you should be looking to get a very rare number. So if you go in the docs section of ordinals.com, it has this whole guide on sat hunting, what to look for, how to prepare, and how to make the most money on the most rare sats. Read through this and figure out which numbers or sats specifically are rare and how to find that for yourself because that's a small little edge that you can have over the general population. Pro tip number two, let's go back to Leonidas, one of the most trusted people in the space right now. This is how people are currently looking at rarity and what makes the most money, what's worth the most in ordinals or inscriptions. His tweet was, what's the lowest number ordinal inscription that you hold? Basically, the lower the inscription number, the more rare they are. And you gotta think we're only 300K in in to inscriptions in general. That's a really low number when you compare it to NFTs on Ethereum or Solana or anywhere else. So a lot of these collections that already exist might end up being the most rare compared to all the new ones when it's more about the art, the team behind it. But for right now, the only thing that matters are the sats and how low your inscription number itself can be. I don't have any alpha on like a sub 10K inscription collection, but there is a sub 250K collection that hit me up and wants to hook up people in this video. So I talked to the full moon ordinals and they said, Hey, let's hook it up. Basically, this is a 500 piece collection already minted out all sub 250 K. And they said, Hey, look, we're going to be minting in three phases, like phases, like the moon, obviously get it. The first phase is only the first 69 people can mint from the collection. And if you follow the link in the description down below in their discord, they will hook you up with the role in the Discord to be able to be one of the first 69. Recap on the video. Basically what's important are low number inscriptions. What's important is the sats. What's important is being able to trust the third party OTC trades where you're getting info from. Make sure you set up the right wallet and it's Bitcoin. This might be a big opportunity and that's why you're here early. So like this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.